Oh, I'm too low. Too high. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this video, by the way, my name's Russ. RWGresearch.com is my website. This video is going to be about printing with my homemade filament. So, this filament was actually extruded on my homemade filament extruder. And uh, it actually looks fairly well. This is totally a test piece. Um, I really don't have the system set up. This diameter varies quite a bit, um, but I just wanted to see if I could even get it to print with this plastic. So this stuff's fairly close, and I'm going to put it in the 3D printer here, and I'm going to see if it works. I know for a fact that I can print out um, these bolts fairly easy, so I'm going to print out a bolt and compare the two. So I'm just going to temporarily rig this thing up so we can uh, see if it prints, so yeah. Here we go. Okay, so I just temporarily rolled that little bit I had on top of this other roll, taped it on there and rolled it up. Got my filament cleaner because this stuff's probably very, very dirty. Um, I let it extrude all over the floor and it picked up a bunch of dirt. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, it runs through the ex uh, filament uh, um, extruder motor and up here to the filament extruder itself or the print head I guess I should say now we're gonna see what happens I'm letting it warm up the bed same temperatures as before I'm not gonna change anything I'm gonna leave the bed at 106 it'll print at 230 C so when I get this thing heated up we'll hit print and see what happens should be interesting the first little bit of plastic is going to be the old stuff, then the new stuff will come out. Now, this stuff is definitely a different type of plastic, and it's not near as stiff. If you bend it, it's got like a crease in it, and it's kind of like really soft. So I'm really hoping that it'll extrude through here just fine and not uh, bind up somewhere. Because it's not quite as stiff as the other stuff is. It's a different type of ABS, that's for sure. Alright, <clears throat> well, although it kind of does look really bad, to be honest with you, it totally printed, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, there's one with regular filament, and there's one with the new filament. Now, I'm fairly certain that the temperature is going to be different and I'll have to play with that I can already tell it's way too liquidy and the filament needs to be a cooler temperature when it comes out but uh, I mean the fact that it, that it printed is a good sign already oh I just broke it <laughs> I broke it in half It's not, it's not, this particular plastic is not sticking together well on that, on that part. And I, I really don't think that has anything to do with the homemade extruder. I think it has everything to do with the type of plastic I'm using. Because this, this type of plastic is definitely, there's something very different about it. Very interesting though. Yeah, maybe it, it may have got too hot. Almost kind of looks burnt like. So, anyway, 
yes it printed and yes it needs some work very interesting I might have to slice slice another one of these bolts with slicer and lower the temperature it definitely looks way too hot maybe not hot enough I'm not real sure more testing is needed but yes a successful print to say the least it extruded and stayed together and I smashed it and it came apart so now we know woohoo continuing on the story <sighs> see you guys well I printed a nut along to go with my bolt and I started it out at a high temperature and then I lowered it a little bit and it looks like the lower temperature is a lot better it's sticking together a lot better still still delaminating I don't think this is the right kind of plastic but it's what I got to work with at the moment so again this is totally just a trial and possibly with the entire wrong type of plastic so we're gonna print another one and uh, looks like it, it laminated a lot better at a lower temperature I may even drop it a couple more degrees here I think if it was a hotter temperature it would be stronger but maybe it's not hot enough maybe I'll go the other way and raise it up we'll try a print with higher temperature I'll let you know how it turns out okay I printed one at a higher temperature I went down to uh, I usually do at 230 I went down to 224 and it delaminated but not as good here and then I went up to uh, uh, 236 and it looks a lot better so now I'm gonna try it even a little bit even higher and we'll see what that looks like but this is sticking together a little better so we'll try it a little higher 